Maybe you had a bad day recently, or maybe even you're having one right now. And whilst I know that bad days can feel like the worst thing ever, I can tell you something that will allow you to make the most of it, right here, right now. Let me introduce this man, Kevin Webber. You see, not that long ago, Kevin had a really bad day himself. He found himself sat in a doctor's office and, to put it simply, he was told that he'd developed a kind of prostate cancer which was inoperable and going to end his life prematurely. They gave him their best guess and said he might get another two years. An ordinary bloke, 49 years old, a young family, and time's up. Now, that is a bad day. After he had his first chemo session, Kevin did what just about every other human being would do. He went home, slumped into his armchair and felt sorry for himself. He'd done the maths, you see, and he realised that of the two years that the doctor had given him, he would spend the first year having treatment, and the second would be pretty much consumed by getting steadily sicker, sadder, weaker, until the inevitable arrived. That thing that awaits every single one of us in the far distance. But for Kev, the inevitable was now lurking suddenly just around the corner, ready to pounce. And the next day, knowing all of this, Kevin did something a little bit, well, unusual, to say the least. He went for a run. And those couple of miles were the hardest, slowest and most difficult that he'd ever taken on. But by the time he got back home, he knew exactly what he was now going to do with his time left on the planet. And for as long as he could manage it, everything was going to be on his terms, not cancer's. By week 13 of the much-feared chemo, Kev was actually running in the Brighton Marathon. His oncologist was fairly appalled by the idea, but as Kevin was out there week after week, following his diagnosis, running more and more miles, eventually the specialist just had to accept the unconventional and let Kev run. So, although something had been growing inside Kev that had forced him to endure his ultimate bad day, now something else was growing inside too. Something magnificent instead of malignant. A determination to make the most of it. Because, despite the fact that his life was being cut cruelly short by decades, no less, he'd realised that making the most of every moment was the only way to live his life. So unlike the rest of us, when we're frequently tempted to wallow in a bad day, Kev did the exact opposite and decided to focus on his long-held impossible dream. The thing that he thought he'd never do. The thing he regarded as his own personal Everest. A six-day, 150-something mile event in the Saharan Desert. Indeed, it was something that he didn't even think he would get to start, never mind finish. And once it achieved, this incredible feat was kept satisfied that he topped his own personal mountain. No chance. He just went looking for more. And whatever it was that lit Kev's desire to overcome despair, to make the most of it, whether you call it attitude, spirit, defiance, or even stubbornness, that same thing kept pushing him ever onwards, further and further, defying expectations of what one can do after a terrible diagnosis whilst carrying a debilitating condition. Kev's bad day was over four years ago now. Think about it, that's two years beyond that dreaded best before date. And whilst he's never going to change the fact that his condition is still effectively terminal, he has changed so many things in so many lives and so many people's approach to their own bad days. A quick look at what he's been up to in the last four years since his bad day makes anybody realise that with the right attitude, utter determination and of course help and support from friends, family and colleagues, we can all achieve something incredible. And that's the thing, Kev has been personally engaging with thousands of people, all of whom have been changed for the better as a result. Some went off and raised money for their own causes, some were better educated on prostate cancer or dealing with serious disease, and of course a huge number of people were inspired to react positively in their own lives. This chain reaction of positivity, whilst it's difficult to quantify, cannot be underestimated as those people will in turn inspire others to do the same. 
Kev ran that first marathon on chemo to prove a point to himself and to raise a little money for Prostate Cancer UK, an organisation who had helped steer him through those early darkest of days. Four years later, and between his own personal efforts and joint ones with hundreds of others, around a half a million pounds has been raised so far. That's half a million reasons right there why Kev was right to go for that first run after his chemo. Since his bad day, Kev has encouraged over 250 of his colleagues to walk marathons for charity and given dozens of presentations about his story to a huge number of engrossed listeners of all ages and demographics, educating, enlightening and encouraging people of all kinds about how we can all deal better with those really bad days. And we're all the same when it comes to those terrible times. Since his bad day, Kev writes newspaper articles and online blogs to reach out to as many as possible. Radio and TV appearances are handled with the same kind, affable, yet candid manner he uses when counselling others who come to him directly for help. He accepts his awards and public recognition with dignity, grace and a huge smile. And he uses these moments to keep the spotlight shining on his mission and his message. Since his bad day, Kev keeps putting himself out there in some of the hardest events there are, from the heat of the desert dunes to the freezing tundra up there beyond the Arctic Circle. Marathons for days after days. Ultra marathons in conditions that you or I wouldn't even want to spend the time it takes to shoot a selfie. Since his bad day, Kev keeps setting himself challenges, going on personal marathons of his own day after day so that his message can reach as many people as possible, so he can keep raising money and awareness to help fight prostate cancer, so that in the future other men's families don't have to go through what his family are facing right now. Since his bad day, Kev has raced and trekked over 3,000 miles on foot for charity in all kinds of weather, on all kinds of terrain and inspired all kinds of people to do all kinds of things. Since his bad day, Kev has definitely learned to make the most of it. Every single day.